G'day everyone, um, I'm Edward Proudford. Uh, this is Woodford at Narrower. These are the boys, Dougal and William, and we're in our new Proway yards. I've sort of had a relationship with Proway for years because they built my sheep yards probably 10 years ago. Um, and then they built big holding yards down there two years ago. So I've been talking to them about this job for probably three years. The critical time for us was November when we marked the calves. So I said to Mick Barrett, you know, I'm, I want to put the yards up, but they'd have to be finished by end of November. Um, and he was right. He said, we'll do that. So it happened. The plotting out and design stuff was great. Um, we stood here and Mick walked around and plotted all the trees and the sheds, even the front gates. And we could position the loading ramp so that there was enough room for a B-double to swing in from the road, turn around, because on his, on his program he had a B-double turning circle and the length of the B-double. So yeah, there weren't any shocks after we built it. Oh bugger, we can't get a truck in there. You come back, all, it's all pegged out. Then the contractor turns up, bores all the holes, sets most of it up, and then the concrete truck comes and, you know, three days later you've got to set a yard. You know, we're all busy enough. We don't have time to be building our yards or stuffing around getting bits and pieces from here and there. You just know that the, it's going to be good quality. Everything's tried and tested. Um, you, you blokes are locked away in back rooms designing stuff. I, I don't want to be, so I can just make the phone call. They did the shed, which is probably the most important feature of the yards because we didn't have a roof over our other one and they were long hot days and tempers frayed and it wasn't a pleasant place. Um, this business here, the overhanging rail, it's, um, it's definitely a good one. Um, the rotary force, yep, for safety wise. Um, a few slam latches on the gates. Um, and just the speed, the speed of gate latches, you, know, you can shut a gate quickly. The good rails, if you need to get out, you can get out quickly. Definitely a lot easier, more yeah. fun too. Yeah, cool. think, yeah, like the cattle just run so much better in here than they did in the old yards. And yeah, it's a lot safer with that rotary force and all that sort of stuff. So you're not in as much with the cattle and they just run better. So. This rotary force, is it's a ripper. Um, once the cattle are in there, you're, you're totally shielded by the gate. Um, it can't come back on you. all the way right up to the back and you can virtually make it the back gate of the um, back gate of the race. We can just yeah, swing this gate back for loading up the ramp. I love this loading ramp with this handrail. It's totally safe. This access gate up here, I love it. You can close this one off here. Stops the cattle coming up. And if need be, you can close this one to stop the cattle coming back out of the truck while they pen up. We loaded two B-doubles of steers from the moment the first B-double came in that uh, gateway. We looked at the clock. 21 minutes later, two B-doubles of steers were leaving, fully loaded. By having big water yards outside, you could do all your mustering the day before and you could put a huge amount of stock through the next day and then spend the next day getting rid of them. As long as they had room and water, we can work 500 cows and calves in this set of yards. And most of them are on water all the day. Draft from where I'm working on the head bale without having to go forward it saves a heap of time and it's safer. Um, it's confusing with all these levers, you can it looks like a mad scientist from time to time. Um, but yeah, great thing. One of my favourite features. We can go three ways there and then we've got the laneway where if you've got a bloke down there, you can swing gates down there. So, you know, we can probably draft five ways. I can't imagine why we'd have to, but if we did have to, we could. And it's just speed. Instead of racing forward, swing a gate, latch it up, when you're preg testing in particular, you can do all your work from back there. Cattle aren't being balked. It's, that's another great feature of them. In a job like calf marking, we'll all be in here. Um, weighing, there'll be one fella back there pushing them up, and one bloke can do all of this. You know, technically I can do it all on my own if I have to, but it's slow. Um, 
but yeah, one bloke can do all this in here and one fella out the back. And obviously an extra bloke in here speeds it up, but yeah, really, you could, you could do it all on your own if you're pushed. Overhanging rail is what, I love it, because we mark our calves standing up in the crush. So if you've got a sooky little calf at the back there that doesn't want to come, you can grab him by the tail and walk him all the way through without letting him go. You don't have to dodge any posts. Um, not to mention vaccinate, and we don't vaccinate in the race, but if you did, you can just get your hands on them all the way around without fear of breaking your arm. It's a big investment. You know, it has to last a long time. Um, it's about the only thing you can put your money into that you don't, it doesn't depreciate. Your property's worth more, and it's worth more for the next 20 or 50 years. Um, the cost of it, you amortise it over 10 years, 20 years, they, they really cost nothing. It's a big hit when you do it the first time, but um, over time, it's money well spent. It's not that much more expensive than buying some bit of crap that is going to bend the first time you put cattle through. Yeah, it's not, they're not going to wear out, they're not going to bend, um, they'll see me out. <laughs>